I got the nickname Superman from Soldier Boy because he had a song called Superman. And uh, it was a couple things that happened in practice when I was in Orlando. I used to lift crazy weights. Right. So how much could you bench? My highest bench uh, was three fifteen four something four. What? Yeah, four thirty some some yeah some. Uh, I was in Orlando. What the hell you need to bench that? Basketball don't weigh but like two pounds. You're right, that's what my free throws was like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the way your free throw was like that before. No, it was because the bench press. <laughs> I couldn't even <laughs> eat. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was bench pressing so much, man, for real. That's right. why I stopped because I literally was. I'm yeah, your shoulders. Your shoulders. I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't shoot the ball. Right. I was like this. <laughs> so I was like, man, let me chill out, do some yoga, and get right. Right. But I used to bench over over four hundred some pounds, and um, that's all I did: to go in the gym, bench press, do uh, uh, leg curls, uh, squats, uh, biceps. Yeah, see, I know you work with biceps. It. That's all I did at first, and then once I learned how to train, like after I had my back surgery, I have a doctor uh, in. Uh, Atlanta, his name is Dr. Clayton Gibson. Mm -hmm. Changed my my whole life, my from the inside out. How I how I thought, the food I ate, you know what I put in my body to drink, everything. This guy was just like a godsend. You know what I'm saying? So I was just glad I was able to meet him, and he was the one who actually got me right after I had my back surgery. Right to come back to the Lakers. I lost 30 pounds in 30 days. Are you vegan? I mean, do you eat meat now? Well, I mean. No, nah, I'm not vegan. Okay. But I might have to go vegan because I found out that some of the, uh, well, the strongest tribe, or the strongest people on earth were vegan. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, let me try it. I want to try it out. Were, were, were they vegan by choice? Yeah. Cause they might've not had opportunity to get no meat. No, they did. but. They they just knew like for example gorillas, right. they don't eat no meat and they're the strongest. You gonna eat forty pounds of grass? Let's go. <laughs> People be killing me that man. You see? Yeah, but that ain't mean that they I, vegan. You ain't eating grass. But I'm just saying, you an elephant. elephant. He only eat but what he eat. And grass look how strong is an elephant. Look yeah. how strong an elephant is. You eating three hundred pounds of leaves and figs? No, but they got vegetables and fruit. And stuff like Man, that. Man, eat that meat, Dwight. You grew up eating meat. Look yeah, at you. Yeah, you would have okay, grew, you you grew that tall if you had know, Do you know what happened once once you the meat that you eat? Do you know what happened? When they kill these animals, that stress from those animals yeah. is getting transferred to you. That's why we have all these mental issues that we're having in our country right now, because the foods that we eat, even all the processed stuff. That stuff sends off. What happened when you vibration. pluck when you pluck when you pluck that vegetable off the vine? Nothing happened. It, it ain't stressed. No. Oh. Cause where's it coming from? Like an apple. What is the apple on? It was on a tree. You and plucked it. And what else it. is it on? It's gonna be growing. And then it's gonna get ripe. It's gonna get ripe. So what you you know you about the farm and all that stuff. <laughs> I, I grew up with the farm. Now see the good thing is if you eating food from farm to table, then yes I can understand right. eating meat like that. But if we're getting it from the 3D source, if we're getting it from Google, right? And you YouTube, about to eat, but you about to eat it from 3D. You about to eat it from the uh, uh, from from farm to table, right? That's correct. So I would do that. That's what I'm saying. I okay. would do that, but not just going out every day and getting you know crazy types of pork right. and all that stuff. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.